Superstars will work to throw their opponent over the top rope and onto the floor. And the last superstar standing will main event WrestleMania. You fellas know the drill. Let's see who the first entry is in the Royal Rumble 2024. Oh, and the very first entry of the 2024 Royal Rumble is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. Guys, over the past few weeks, Shinsuke Nakamura has been calling out somebody strange. I think Shinsuke fought to get himself the, the number one spot in the Royal Rumble, which means that his mystery guy should be number two, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what's on this man Shinsuke's mind, but he is out to destroy somebody. Whoever comes out at number two, Shinsuke has been calling out for a long time. Let's see who's it going to be. Anything's possible in the Royal Rumble. Who is Shinsuke's man? The hook? What? Is that who I think it is? It's the world famous Minecraft Steve! Steve is number two in the Royal Rumble! And that's what I love about the Royal Rumble. Anything is possible. You can expect surprises. And Shinsuke Nakamura is about to face off with the debuting Minecraft Steve. I cannot believe it. What a surprise. What a way to enter in this year, 2024. Steve makes his s meth lesson debut. This man went from mining caves deep down looking for gold, looking for diamonds. And now he's here about to wrestle in the Royal Rumble. And let's get the Rumble match started. Well, history has just been made. We have another Royal Rumble here in s meth Wrestling. And we're starting out with a surprise. Minecraft Steve and Shinsuke Nakamura. And these two fellas are going to lock up right now. Shinsuke, though, is being the veteran. Oh, no. And Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong style, he's been here for years. That's right, Shinsuke has wrestled all around the world. And this man is not going to let some rookie like Minecraft Steve take his spot to main event WrestleMania. And Shinsuke Nakamura knows you have to eliminate your opponent over the top rope and on the floor. And that's what he's going to do. Steve's already out. What the? What the? Wait a minute, Steve just made a grass block appear out of nowhere. His feet never hit the floor. What kind of black magic is this? Oh, a splash from Steve. The debuting Minecraft Steve just takes out Shinsuke Nakamura off the ropes here. Oh, and a cutter. That was like a diamond cutter right there from the front of the man who mines diamonds. Minecraft Steve takes out Shinsuke Nakamura. Now is he going to eliminate him? Could you imagine Shinsuke Nakamura being thrown over the top rope by the debut man? Oh, no. Shinsuke Nakamura, the wrestling guy. Veteran is not going to get destroyed by the rookie right now. Look at this here, Shinsuke. He's going to go for a signature. Oh, wait a minute. Steve out of the way. Shinsuke looks wiped out in the corner here. And oh, a blocky boot, though. A solid scale block boot. Now, Minecraft Steve now is feeling the energy of the SMF Wrestling Universe. And Shinsuke is right where he wants him here. It's Minecraft Steve going to eliminate Shinsuke. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh, yeah, there's the clock, guys. We're going to have entry number three in just a matter of seconds. Who's the next entry? Royal Rumble. Wow! Uh -oh. Business just picked up fellas. Number three is the almighty Bobby Lashley. And the big man Bobby Lashley wants to put a hurt on everybody in this match so far. Immediately Bobby Lashley takes out Micro Steve. Yeah, thanks for coming, Steve. Now welcome to SMF Russ. And you just got taken out by Bobby Lashley. Here comes Shinsuke though, taken out. Bobby Lashley while he's distracted. Oh no, and now Shinsuke can get one too. Ah, oh, Shinsuke just gets dropped by the Almighty. This is not where you want to be if you're Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, a massive spear just snapped him right in half. You would not be surprised if the Almighty gets the first elimination. Oh, this Micro Steve though, taking out Lashley though. No, oh, it looks like Steve can get one too. Oh, a massive spear right to Minecraft. Steve and the Almighty dominates this match so far. Now Bobby Lashley is going to pick up both Steve and Shinsuke. Is he going to eliminate both men right now? And now both men are trying to fight back right now. Steve and Shinsuke will not go down without a fight. Everybody falls. Another in-ring veteran, Bobby Lashley. He knows he has to wear down both of these competitors to eliminate them. Wait a minute. Hey, fellas, here comes that timer. Our next entry is coming out. Who is number four into this match? Wait. 
There's no way! Is he really back? He is fellas! Returning from his injury! It's Batman! We have not seen Batman since like SummerSlam last year! This way Batman was out with a horrible injury from his Hell in a Cell match against Seth Rollins of last year's SummerSlam, but now Batman returns from energy full of rage! Ow! And Batman made a career off of his anger and his rage! He would destroy his opponents! That's right guys, there's no surprise that Batman has a little bit of an anger issue. This man does not know when to stop! And right now Lashley is being destroyed! And guys, the Roman match is no disqualification, so Bobby Lashley got to be injured! Here goes Shinsuke! Now that Shinsuke can get some too though! Oh! Batman is now destroying Shinsuke! Last year, when Batman first made his SNF Wrestling debut, this man would just attack his opponents like he's doing right now, and he would get disqualified. He didn't even know how to wrestle! But since then, Batman has learned a lot from opponents like Seth Rollins, and now he's still just destroying Shinsuke! Wait a minute, does Minecraft Steve want some of Batman though? Oh! A nice drop kick though! Then look at this! Wait a minute, no! Batman! Oh! Steve, you should've just stayed away now! Batman is being destroyed! Batman is destroying Minecraft Steve, rather! I cannot believe- I never thought I would see the day! Batman! Minecraft Steve in the same ring! Batman dominates everybody! And guys, this is Batman's very first Royal Rumble. Does he even know that he needs to throw his opponents over the top rope? I don't even think he knows how to win this match. He just wants to hurt all of his opponents. That's all Batman likes to do. Well, at this rate, Phil, the time had just started. At this rate, it is who is next to get destroyed by Batman right now. The man who taking control of this Rumble match. Wait a minute. Who? Oh! For the next entry, it is Angelo Dawkins! One half of the Street Profits, and he is also a man who has a line or so with Bobby Lashley! Well, fellas, do not forget the Rumble is every man for himself! And now, oh! And now Batman is destroying Angelo Dawkins! From my Oh! Bobby Lashley, though, with a nice spear right to Batman! Sticking up for Angelo Dawkins! That's right, guys. So, as we were saying, the Royal Rumble is every man for himself, but Angelo Dawkins is one half of one of the guys who is teaming up with Bobby Lashley over the past few weeks. And now, look at this! There's a lot of temporary alliances here right now. And oh, Angelo Dawkins, they're setting up Batman for Lashley to take him out! Well, it is nice to have an alliance in the Royal Rumble. Eventually, it's gonna come time to Bobby Lashley and Angelo Dawkins, and there can only be one winner! I don't think Bobby Lashley and Angelo Dawkins care about that right now. Now they are destroying Batman as revenge for all the assaults. There's Steve though. Oh, Steve with the massive drop kick to Angelo Dawkins. Oh, and that angers Bobby Lashley now. And he goes for that. Wait a minute. Oh, and Minecraft Steve Lord is Steve going to eliminate Bobby Lashley. Oh, he pushes him off. And a massive shoulder tackle. The almighty takes control. He is dominating. Nice moves there by Bobby Lashley. Not letting anybody have control of this match. And once again, he helps up Angelo Dawkins. Wait a minute. It's already that time, fellas. Who is the next entry? Uh-oh. Is, is the current YouTube champion, the legendary Goldberg! The SMF Wrestling Hall of Famer shocked the world when he won the YouTube Championship pinning Hollywood Fair, but now Goldberg declared himself for the Royal Rumble. He will win this match to challenge for the world title in the event of WrestleMania. Here comes Dawkins, Spear! A spear from the YouTube Champion! That's not gonna sit well with the almighty Bobby Lashley though. Lashley is taking out the Hall of Famer right now. Here comes Lashley though. Is Lashley gonna pick up Goldberg? Wait, no! Oh, a massive kick from the Hall of Famer! Oh, a spear! A spear right to Bobby Lashley, you gotta be kidding me! There's no way! There's no Hall of Famer Goldberg! The YouTube Champion gonna lift up Bobby Lashley here! A jackhammer! Oh wait, here comes Shinsuke though, with multiple kicks, right to Goldberg here! What's the Shinsuke doing? Oh, a spear! A spear right to Shinsuke! It looks like Shinsuke Nakamura can take a right as well! Jack Harrow! I cannot believe Goldberg is back in SMF Wrestling as champion! Is he gonna win the Royal Rumble? Is Goldberg gonna get his first elimination? I don't think so! It's Batman from behind though! The vicious and aggressive Batman! taking out the Hall of Famer. Oh, this is not good, Goldberg. He's getting up there in age. I cannot believe he's still going, but Goldberg is getting destroyed. And I really hope Batman knows how to win this match. And I think Batman, he sees something. He's looking at the floor. Maybe he finally realizes what he has to do to eliminate somebody on the Rumble. Oh, he just knocks out Goldberg and what? Batman gets the first elimination. He has eliminated Goldberg. And the referees right now are calling it. Goldberg has been eliminated from this match by the aggressive Batman. And you gotta love the story of Batman not knowing how to wrestle. And now he just eliminated the first person in this year's Royal Rumble. And now the assault continues on poor Angelo Dawkins right now. Wait a minute guys, it is now time for our next entrant. Who is number seven in the Royal Rumble?
Oh, and the next entry in this match is time! This young man right here is full of potential. He's a former tag team champion. That's right, guys. And you remember last year when Tag jumped off of that Rumble sign way up there? Let's hope he doesn't do that again because that man got injured real bad. Oh, we're Tag now with everything to prove right now. Oh, he nearly goes up to Batman. He made a mistake to go right after Batman. Batman gets right back up. Tag, you better run, man. Batman is angry. No, Tag now runs. The top rope. Oh, and now right now, Tag's quickness is now taking advantage of the impatientness of Batman. And now he jumps. Wait a minute, Batman, though. Batman is going to powerbomb him right now. Oh, a slingshot from Tag. You got to love the quickness of Tag. He's using a twist. Advantage. Oh, wait a minute, but that quickness is going to get destroyed by the strength of the almighty Bobby Lashley, though. Oh, and a splash right to Steve. And that is what it's like to have teammates here in the Royal Rumble. You can have as many temporary alliances as you want. No, Tag, barely right now. Just survive. Now comes Anzo Dawkins. He's going to kick Tag. Dawkins with a super kick. Oh, no. And Dawkins just took down Bobby Lashley, but Accident! They take it out the ropes. Oh, a nice kick right to Angelo Dawkins. You're gonna love Tech. He has so much potential. I would love for him to win this rubble at a breakout year this year. I would love to see Tech as a singles champion. The task got a long way to go. Here comes number eight in this rubble match. Who is it gonna be? What? Oh, it's the base Brock Lesnar! Definitely the most feared man in all the best man for us. And he shocked the world when he said he's in the Rumble this year. Brock Lesnar wants a rematch for the World Championship and he's going to win. Brock Lesnar wants to win the Rumble. Oh, a super strike to Shinsuke. Oh, come on, man. Spare that man, Tag. What's Tag going to do? Oh, and the brave Tag is going out to Brock. What is he doing? Oh, and a suplex right to Tag by the Beast Brock Lesnar. Oh, another one. Brock Lesnar right now. He's tossing everybody around right now like they're nothing. Oh, and there's another suplex. Is Bobby Lashley going to stick up for his friend Angelo Dawkins, the Beast Brock Lesnar, and the almighty Bobby Lashley? This is a massive... Oh, wait, 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 that was a massive encounter! F5! Lesnar cleans house, and uh-oh! What the hell you, bro? It's Batman! And how is the aggressive Batman going to take out Brock Lesnar? Oh, he's doing it! He's doing it! No, he's not! No, he's not! Oh, the F5 right to Batman, and oh, another one! Brock Lesnar is going to take out everybody in his path right now. Wait, what is this? Oh, Blackie, no, no, right to Brock! What is this guy think he's doing? The debuting Minecraft Steve just hit a low blow, Brock! Oh, another diamond cutter by the man, Minecraft Steve, in his debut here! And then what is this? What?! As you can say, it was cheap with that low blow, but no disqualification. Anything goes. Steve just eliminated the beast. Oh, and Brock Lesnar is shocked right now. He is mad. Minecraft Steve on his debut just walked into this company, low blow the beast, and ruined Brock's chances of me eventing WrestleMania. And Brock better get out of here. He better not cause a scene right now. He's got to take away from the referees. No, because we have our next intro coming out right now. Who is next? Oh, no. Wait a minute. It's Montez Ford, the other half of the Street Profits, and also a friend of Bobby Lashley's. And with Montez Ford and the Royal Rumble, are we going to have a three-man alliance right now? Now Ford's taking out Minecraft Steve. Rizzo Dawkins back up to his feet. Oh, and a double-team move there by the Street Profits. And now both the Street Profits are picking up the almighty Bobby Lashley. We have a three-man faction right now in the Royal Rumble. Oh, now Bobby Lashley about to get payback on Minecraft Steve. Oh, a nice slam right though to the Diamond Miner. And now is Lashley going to be the one to eliminate Minecraft Steve? Lashley throws him. Oh, wait a minute. Once again, Steve, Steve's feet never hit the floor. He has this block. How is this fair? Steve is still in this match. Wait, come behind. It's Brock Lesnar, though. And now Steve's feet hit the floor. Steve is eliminated. Oh, thanks to the beast, Brock Lesnar. Now you're going to be kidding me. Brock has already been eliminated with multiple F5s. Now we're going to get more security out here. Brock Lesnar not only is not going backstage, but he gets eliminated. Steve, who is still in this match. Oh, just like that. Thanks for coming, Minecraft Steve. What a debut. But he did. But he is now on the Beast Brock Lesnar's bad side. Well, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits right now. They're going to get their sweet revenge on Batman for all of the assault business just picked up. Bobby Lashley and the Profits are on top. Wait a minute. Well, now after all that chaos, who is the next entrant? Whoa! Entrant number 10 is Mr. Munch! is one of the members of the controversial Chuck E. Cheese Band. 
What a year those fellas had last year, but Mr. Munch, last year, he made his debut, and he beat Brock Lesnar. He won the Money in the Bank briefcase. And immediately, though, right now, Mr. Munch loses the numbers game as all three members of Bobby Lashley's team are taking him out. Now, oh, wow. Oh, Lord, did Mr. Munch just dodge him right here? Oh, a close line the Montez four. Here comes Dawkins with a splash. Where the splash was caught. Oh, a power slam. And the almighty Bobby Lashley wants to go for the hurt lock on the Mr. Munch. It's Mr. Munch. They'll fall for it. No. And Lashley is winning here. Oh, a huge drop kick. Mr. Munch just soloed all three members of Bobby Lashley's team. Dang, this man right here, he made his debut beating Brock Lesnar. I mean, I'm not surprised. This man, who knows what he can do in that ring? Now, what is Mr. Munch setting up for? Uh-oh, that's the signature. Oh, the Mr. Munch bomb. That's the move that put away Brock Lesnar. Whoa! Mr. Munch eliminated Angelo Dawkins. And now that made Montez Ford angry, though. Montez Ford right now with a nice kick. And now Montez goes up to the top rope. Very dangerous to do this in a Royal Rumble, but Montez Ford is confident. And this is the end of Mr. Munch. Here comes Ford. Wait, Mr. Munch climbing in midair. Oh, a power bomb right onto the solid steel entrance ramp. Montez Ford is eliminated. Now Lassie's mad. Oh, a spear right from Bobby Lashley here. Oh, and another one. The Almighty is about to avenge his guys for Street Profits. Has got Thom over the top rope right now. Oh man, Mr. Munch is definitely not looking good. Wait, what is this? Oh, oh, oh! The Mr. Munch somehow moving. He just, he just hit Bobby Lashley with like multiple headbutts there. How is Mr. Munch still alive here? But he's not done though. Oh no, wait a minute, look at this. Ah, oh, there's no way. There's no way. Mr. Munch right now somehow. Oh, the power bomb! Those deadly power bombs by Mr. Munch though. Oh, and Lashley went through the middle rope. He is not eliminated, but you can see the impact there. He has the back in the ring. Nobody gets up here. Wait, Mr. Munch though with another one. Oh, and now he's eliminated. I can't believe it. Mr. Munch has eliminated Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits by himself. Wait a minute. Oh, and there's a dangerous and destructive Batman. Mr. Munch, who? Oh, there goes Batman. What? It comes that knee strike by Shinsuke though. No. Oh, a shooter tackle though. Now look at this. What is Mr. Munch? Oh, a clothesline over the top rope. Shinsuke is out of here. You can tag right now. What are you thinking? You're thinking you just witnessed Mr. Munch single-handedly clean up the Royal Rumble. What is this guy on? With elimination after elimination, Mr. Munch, there's only one man left. It's poor tag. Tag. Tack better use that speed to his advantage right now. Tack is out of here. Your man Tack definitely does not want to get on Mr. Munch's bad side right now. Tack is now staying his best to get away from Mr. Munch. Wait a minute. This is our next entrance though. Wait a minute. Whoa! And the next entrant is Waluigi! I guess one half of his tag team with his best friend Wario. Waluigi enters in his first Royal Rumble. And uh, what a scene to walk into for Waluigi. How's he going to handle this? Um, this is not a good day. Well, right now, Waluigi is definitely hesitating to get in this match, and I definitely do not blame him. Oh, yeah. Waluigi is going to take his sweet time to get in. Wait, and the young man Tech sees an opportunity right now. He's going to have to miss much, though. Tech with his agility. Oh, and a strike, though, from Waluigi. Now he gets in. Wee, hee, hee. Waluigi. Wee, wee. Now, Waluigi right now, that was actually kind of smart. Waiting for the right time to get in this match. Can't you imagine what Waluigi could do for his career if he eliminates Mr. Munch right now? Oh, and a back elbow just knocks out the purple man. From one purple guy to another, Waluigi is definitely winded, and I think he's regretting his decision now. Hey, hey, Mr. Bunch, uh, my name is uh, Waluigi. Eh. Oh no, not punch the not face, Mr. Bunch, not one bit. No, oh, what is this? What is this? No, oh, slam! Waluigi definitely regrets his entire career right now. Ah, uh, nope, this is not worth it. Goodbye, Mr. Munch. Hey, wait, what is this? Oh, what the? Oh, and Waluigi just eliminates himself. I guess Waluigi was not wanting to put up with that. He, he, just, he just gave up. Mr. Munch is that intimidating. Waluigi just eliminated himself. Wait a minute. Here comes our next entrant. Who's in this thing? Oh, -ho! entrant number 12 is Jinder Mahal. Now, guys, this is never good because, guys, in 2019, Jinder Mahal won the Royal Rumble. That's right, fellas, and I know this man definitely wants to win another Royal Rumble, but he's got to get through the dominant Mr. Munch was on him. Elimination spree. Oh, he's got the Munch. Well, Jinder Mahal is a former Blue Belt World Champion in the past, and now he wants to be a two-time Rumble winner. Jinder Mahal, the Mighty Mahal, is the Rumble. Jinder Mahal wants to make 2024 his year, just like 2019. That's right, fellas, wait. No, no. Ah, oh, a 
massive shoulder tackle from Mr. Munch. And is this the beginning of the end for Jinder Mahal? And it is. Oh, there's the powerbomb. And Jinder Mahal already is eliminated. Well, there goes his chances of winning the Rumble for the second time in his career. He is knocked out. And once again, Mr. Munch is still dominant. And once again, Tack is somehow avoiding all of it. Right now, it's back to the game of cat and mouse. Right now, Tack is now out running Mr. Munch. But how long can he do this for? Wait a minute. Oh, man. This right here is the Frog. He is one half of the tag team, the Frogs. That's right. Well, this guy, he teamed up with Greg Hefley, so I guess this guy's good. He earned this spot into the Royal Rumble, so let's see how this man can do. When the French Frog hops into this match, Le Frog, that is L-E Frog. Now he's doing a little bit of taunting there right to Mr. Munch. Oh, and there's another slam, though. You know, Munch, no. Oh, already eliminates Le Frog. Thanks for coming. Now we return to the game of Cat and Mouse right now. Well, now here comes our next entry already. Mr. Munch doesn't even want to wait. I mean, if he keeps throwing him out, then why wait? I guess. That's right. Who is the next entry? Number 14 now. Oh-ho! All right. Well, here's a worthy challenger. It's Wario! And I wonder how Wario is thinking that his tag team partner, Waluigi, chickened out against this man, Mr. Munch. Well, I think Wario's going to chicken out. He's going in right now. Wario! Wario! And now, oh, and now Mr. Munch and Warrior right now are having a battle with his top though! The underrated tag, the young man is going to Mr. Munch. He's taking his opportunity. This tag going to finally eliminate Mr. Munch. Oh, wait a minute now, Mr. Munch. He caught him tax out of here. Wait, Warrior. Oh! Oh, and the stinky part. The stench just knocked out both men. Now, Warrior now is avenging his tag partner, Waluigi. Is he going to eliminate Mr. Munch for scaring his partner away? Definitely think he's trying. He's trying, but Mr. Munch isn't budging, though. He's fighting. Oh! Mr. Munch somehow gets up here. Warrior's not done. Hey, man, now. Oh, and there's a bad clothesline, though. Don't tell me it's over for Warrior. Don't tell me it's over here. And, oh, my gosh, he just launched him. Wario is out of this match. Oh no, Mr. Munch is tired. Attack right now. Is Tack gone? No. Tack is going to try to pull a fast one on Mr. Munch. Here he goes. And now, oh, there he goes. Or at least he landed on his feet. But Tack just got eliminated. History is being made right now. Mr. Munch now has one of the most impressive rumble performances in the history of SMF Wrestling. He is by himself. That's right. Mr. Munch took out all the opponents. Who's next? Oh, who's next? You definitely feel. Oh, come on. This guy. Uh-oh, fellas. Number 15 is the Spoon. Oh, this guy talks about his fans. He calls them the Spoonheads. There are millions of Spoonheads out there, or so he claims. And they're, they're about to see their favorite wrestler go up against Mr. Munch. Spoonheads, it's me, the Spoon. I'm gonna be the hero. I'm gonna destroy the evil Mr. Munch. I'm gonna win the Royal Rumble. Come on, Mr. Munch, let's go. Munch. Oh, Mr. Munch, though, with a nice clothesline to the Spoon. Oh, don't tell me, though. No. Oh, it's already over from the Spoon. And you can hear the tears of all the Spoonheads out there. Their favorite just got destroyed. Well, you know what? If the Spoon would have actually fought instead of smack talk, then uh, maybe he'd, be, he'd still be in this match. Well, guys, Mr. Munch is still on a domination spree right now. And now who's coming out next? Wait. Oh, man. This is going to be interesting. This right here is Jesper T. Jells. And, guys, he is another member of the Chuck E. Cheese band. Jasper is best friends with Mr. Munch. And I would love to see how this goes. Every man for himself in the Royal Rumble, but it's only those two. This is awkward. Jasper right now, I think he's being smart because he is friends with Mr. Munch, but he doesn't want to be on the receiving end of that powerbomb. And now Jasper and Mr. Munch are shaking hands, and now they're going to unite right now. And there's another temporary team up here. Two members of Team Chicken Cheese are going to wait for the next entry right now. Who is it going to be? Whoa, oh, man. Well, this is a guy who's not going to go down without a fight. It's the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. 
Uh, Seth Rollins is a Grand Slam champion here in SNF Wrestling, but he has never won an SNF Royal Rumble. And right now, Seth Rollins is alone with two members of the Chuck E. Cheese Band. Seth Rollins is an in-ring veteran. He's an architect. He's a genius. I, mean, I would love to see how he gets out of this situation. Here comes Jasper right now. Oh, a super kick right to Jasper. And after the performance we've seen tonight, who wants a dream match between Seth Rollins and Mr. Munch? I certainly do. Now Seth Rollins though going after Mr. Munch. Oh, there's a close line though. Over oh, the veteran. Seth Rollins takes control of Mr. Munch. Hey guys, Mr. Munch only made his debut last year. I know this man may be tough, but he is certainly not an in-ring veteran like Seth Rollins. There's Rollins to splash. Uh-oh, Mr. Munch caught Seth Rollins. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Rollins. You gotta love the movement. There's Seth Rollins though with a nice kick though on the top rope. Rollins now with the... Oh, man, the blockbuster there takes out Mr. Munch. Rollins is the only man that can stop Mr. Munch. And it took a guy, the caliber of Seth Rollins, to do so. Now there's the team up, though, the numbers game. Jasper Jowes representing team Chuck E. Cheese. And the country hound dog from Nashville, Tennessee. Jasper Jowes is taking advantage right now. Oh, wait, no. Oh, and a massive super kick. And now Seth Rollins, ah, oh, stomping down Jasper Jowes' hand right into the mat. Finally, a worthy challenger to Mr. Munch has stepped up here. And a stomp, though, right to Mr. Munch. End of the domination reign of Mr. Munch is over. And this Rollins gonna eliminate him right now. Oh, I would love to see this happen. Seth Rollins is definitely worthy to eliminate Mr. Munch. He's almost over the top rope. Can he get him out? Can he get him out? Munch is fighting though. Oh, Mr. Munch is almost out. His feet are almost on the floor, but he's fighting. And Munch is fighting for his life right now. He's not losing the Royal Rumble. He's still saying it somehow. Wait a minute, comes our next entry now. Now, nah, welcome my, uh, my new client. Oh! The next entrant, returning from his injury, is Stretch Armstrong. Last year, this man debuted and he shocked the world. He won the YouTube Championship at WrestleMania last year in his first year. This man has is one of the most impressive superstars in recent history. And I guess this is this is who longtime wrestling veteran Laszlo was talking about. Laszlo has returned to manage Stretch Armstrong. Who is crazy? I'm so back in his reversing. Oh, he goes right after Seth Rollins, though. That is a nice strategy, though. Uh oh. But we're gonna see the stretchy man do what he does best right now. And there it is. The deadly sleeper hold right now. Stretch Armstrong has a hold of Seth Rollins. And Seth is patching out. Here's the move that won Armstrong the YouTube title last year at WrestleMania. Man, somebody get Armstrong off of Rollins. Seth Rollins has fainted. Laszlo is happy. And Mr. Munch is back up, though. And we're going to see a return of the dominant run of Mr. Munch. And now Mr. Munch is going to eliminate Stretch Armstrong. Wait a minute, what is this? What is Stretch Armstrong doing? What the world? Whoa, what in the world? There's a person in the power bomb with his legs. And now Stretch Armstrong has his legs wrapped around Mr. Munch. Are you joking me? What kind of submission move is this? Oh, shoot. Mr. Munch is now fading right now at the hands of Stretch Armstrong, or should I say, the legs. You know, Stretch Armstrong right now has a solid chokehold. My gosh, he, he fainted. The Royal Rumble now belongs to Stretch Armstrong, and Armstrong wants to take the credit for eliminating Mr. Munch. Oh, oh, Mr. Munch, he's unconscious, but he's still somehow is fighting back right now. Hey, no, he's not. No, he's not. Munch is out. It's over for Mr. Munch. Wait a minute now. Oh, oh, Jasper, though. Jasper pulls Stretch Armstrong off. And the numbers game right now, it pays to have a friend like Jasper, though. With multiple country kicks, the stress arm strong. Wait, here comes our next entry. It's the Royal Rumble. This is getting good. Oh, all right. We've got a strong insert now. It's Syndrome. That's right, fellas. This man made his return to Esme Wrestling last year. This man wants Esme Wrestling in his hands. He wants to win the Rumble, and he'll destroy everybody in his path to do so. Let's see how Jasper holds up against Syndrome. Oh, the dangerous and destructive, wicked Syndrome, though, with a nice slam right to Jasper. Syndrome will stop at nothing to decimate and destroy his opponents to get his victory. He wants to be world champion by the end of the year, Syndrome said. And right now, he's going to show no mercy to Jasper. I mean, Mr. Munch, though, is standing up for his best friend here. Now he's going to go for a super... Oh, a nice suplex right to Syndrome. This is not good if you're Syndrome. You're right near the ropes. And here comes the close line, though. That's the close line. Oh, no, it's Syndrome. But right from behind, Syndrome is now being choked out by Stress Armstrong. Oh, a nice instinct by Syndrome. He's going to knock out Armstrong. And Armstrong's not letting go. Wait a minute. Oh, there, there's no way. There is no way. Wait a minute. On his shoulders, Mr. Munch has Syndrome and Stress Armstrong. He's lifting him up the strength of this man. He's insane. Don't forget about Seth freaking Rollins. What's up, Rip Seth Rollins? Oh, a crossbody. 
Seth Rollins, the visionary, saw the opportunity and he went for it. Oh man, I'm knocked out right now. What a Royal Rumble, and we're not even halfway done yet. We still have plenty more entrance. Seth Rollins, Mr. Munch, Stretch Armstrong Syndrome Jasper are laying it all on the line. And could one of these guys win this match and main event WrestleMania this year? It could be one of these fellas, or it could be our next entry coming out right here, right now. Who is it? Oh, yeah, baby! Number 20 is Greg Hefley! Oh, the controversial Greg Hefley, the former world champion, former tag team champion. This man has never won a Royal Rumble because this man is nothing but a cheater and just an overall terrible person. I don't know what you're talking about. Greg Hefley's high IQ, his in-ring psychology has brought him many championships. And tonight, is he going to win his first Royal Rumble? Greg Hefley was in a tag team with Ric Flair, but he turned on the nature of Ric Flair. Can you believe that? Wow, Ric Flair was the reason that Greg Hefley lost the tag team championships. And now Mr. Munch is going to be the reason that Greg Hefley loses the Royal Rumble. But oh, wait a minute, smart. Greg Hefley went under the bottom rope. That's right, guys. And in order to be eliminated, you gotta go over the top rope. Greg Hefley is still legal in this match. And right now, he's getting on the mind of Mr. Munch. That is smart. And what's Mr. Munch gonna do? Is he gonna risk elimination chasing Greg? Or is he gonna stay in there? Oh, oh, look at that, sir. Oh, yeah, look at that. A genius move by Greg Hefley. Nobody could take down Mr. Munch, but Greg Hefley just outsmarted him and took advantage of his anger. And that right there is why Greg Hefley is a former world champion. He's got Mr. Munch down. Greg Hefley has been going through a lot. His girlfriend since like high school, Holly Hills, actually betrayed him and she got with Ric Flair. Yeah, I cannot believe Ric Flair would do that, but I can't believe Holly. After all Greg's done for Holly, she's gonna leave him for Ric Flair? I mean, it is the nature of what we're talking about here. Oh, and Mr. Munch slashed down Greg. And Greg. Oh, once again, Greg rolls to the outside. Very smart by Greg. He's not taking any chances here. Now, oh, from the back, it's Syndrome. The Syndrome is taking advantage of a distracted Mr. Munch. Both of them right now. And I locked up, though. Oh, oh and a stop, though. Oh, a super kick. Seth Rollins just took him all out. And another stop, though. And that one was for Stretch Armstrong. Rollins sees Greg, uh-oh. There's not many tricks you can pull on the in-ring veteran, Seth freaking Rollins. And Rollins could do anything right now. And wait a minute. Oh, what the? Greg Hefley just took advantage of a no disqualification rule. A solid steel diary to the face. Now come on, referee. Do something about that. Take that diary away from Greg Hefley. But Greg's back in. Greg says it is not a diary. He says it is his journal where he writes down all of his greatest accomplishments. And Seth Rollins just learned right now as he just became the next victim of Greg Hefley. And is Greg going to eliminate Seth freaking Rollins? So far, Greg Hefley has actually done a good job taking everybody out. Yeah, that's right. He's a genius. Nobody can match this man. And and in ring psychology. Wait a minute. Here comes our next entrant. <gasps> what? No. No. Well, this is awkward. It's the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Greg Hefley's former tag team partner, the man that Greg Hefley stabbed in the back, and also the man who has Greg Hefley's ex girlfriend, Holly Hills. Greg Hefley looks like he's gonna blow a fuse. Woo! Beautiful girl, out of here. Give me a kiss for good luck, baby. Oh, I know. Oh, with a good luck kiss from Greg Hefley's ex. Holly Hills, Ric Flair, enters the Royal Rumble. Now, Greg, come on, get him. Oh, oh, no. And Ric Flair probably taught Greg Hefley how to do that smart move. I thought these two were the greatest tag team champions of all time, but Greg Hefley had to drop this guy. Why is Rick doing this? Why does he feel like he's in the right? Greg Hefley was betrayed by Rick. Nah, man, Greg Hefley did not show up for their title match. Ric Flair was all by himself, and that's why they lost the titles. Rick Flair is gonna get through a binge on his former tag partner, Greg Effley. He's gonna eliminate him. Come on, Greg Effley. Hold on, Greg. Come on, you got this. Now, Greg, his, his feet are almost down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. The multiple kicks, though. Greg Effley's still in it. And I'm sure Greg Effley has so much rage to get off. And Ric Flair, oh! And now Greg Effley is taking out his former tag team partner, the Nature Boy. I hate you, Ric Flair. Oh, wait a minute. The mind games, fellas. Greg Effley's sensitive side has now been activated. It's his ex-girlfriend, Holly. Holly, I still can't believe... You betrayed me. I gave you the best relationship ever, but you wanted, you wanted this, this freak? Holly, how could you? Poor Greg Hefley, he's traumatized. Wait, Rick Flair, oh! Rick Flair eliminates Greg Hefley! Woo! 
And how humiliating, how embarrassing for Greg Heffley, Ric Flair, his former tag team partner, his former friend, and his ex-girlfriend just got the last laugh. Greg's chances of main event in WrestleMania are over. Say goodbye, Greg. <laughs> Oh, now why is he rubbing it in? Holy hell, is that, what are you doing? Let me back in. I'm going to kill you, Rick. The referee's right now. I have to ask where Greg happened. He is eliminated. His feet hit the ground. That's a not good for Greg. Come on. You, Greg should have won this year. Ric Flair just costed Greg Hefley his WrestleMania moment. And styling and profiling can Ric Flair win another Rumble in his legendary career. Yeah, as if it wasn't for Greg Hefley, Ric Flair would still be retired. Greg is the reason that Ric Flair came back to wrestling. How ungrateful that Ric Flair is. Now I know what you mean. This is classic nature boy. Now it's Stretch Armstrong now stepping up to Ric Flair. Now this is a match I would like to see two men right now taking advantage of wrestling. Oh, you know, yes, I, I would love to see this match. This would be amazing. He's going to go for the figure four on Stress Armstrong. And he's tapping out, but you can't tap out in a rumble. There's no pitfalls, no submissions. Ric Flair takes control. The nature boy is good. Oh, wait, what the? Oh, fellas! Finn the Goldfish is the next entry into the Royal Rumble! I would love to see Finn the Goldfish. This man is a rookie in his career. He made his debut late last year. And, th and this is a huge opportunity. An entry into the Royal Rumble. And there's Finn though taking advantage. Going after a big threat. Ric Flair. No Flair is going to go after him here. Ow, and that's nice. Finn kicks or the Goldfish kicks. Whoever this guy is. And look at this. Ric Flair. No one's going to stop him. Oh, Ric Flair with a nice suplex. Wait a minute. From behind. Ow, oh, a devastating clothesline from Syndrome. Could you imagine if Syndrome could eliminate the nature boy. Wait, come on! Oh, a nice top rope dive by Finn the Goldfish. On the other side, Seth Rollins is picking up Stress Armstrong. Oh man, that's it. Armstrong's out. Wait, no. Armstrong is not out. His feet are still in the ring. Oh, oh, Stretch Armstrong just used his stretching ability. His feet never left the ring. What a legendary competitor that man is. Oh, he's definitely interesting for sure. I don't think you realize that Mr. Munch and Jasper Jealous has been staying out of harm's way the entire time. That is very smart in the Royal Rumble. Let's see who is next. Who is the next entrant into the Royal Rumble match? This right here would be entrant number 23. Ah, oh, there he is. I didn't think he would come out, but here he is. It's Chucky. Definitely the breakout star last year in SMF Wrestling. He is the current Money in the Bank contract holder. He is definitely the leader of the Chuck E. Cheese gang, and that's Helen Henney. That's right, Chucky enters in this Royal Rumble, and tonight he's bound to win the Royal Rumble because he needs to win the world title, the one title that the late great Hall of Famer, the original Chuck E. Cheese, never got to hold. I definitely think there's going to be some cheating going on here because we got three members of the Chuck E. Cheese band. And as we've said many times, the Rumble is every man for themselves. But right now, I think Team Chuck E. Cheese want to take on everybody. And wait, this Seth Rollins though. Now, when the original Chuck E. Cheese was still alive, Seth Rollins was a rival of Team Chuck E. Cheese. Oh no, I think Chuck is going to take it personally though. Ow, Rollins though is fighting Chucky. A nice country kick though, night to Seth Rollins. And is Mr. Munch finally going to get his payback on Seth Rollins? Ah, oh, there's a power bomb to the visionary. Do they want to eliminate Seth Freak? Rollins. Wait, Syndrome though. Syndrome wants the glory for himself. But take it out. Mr. Munch. Oh, but a nice Chucky slab. A Chucky slab defending his friend. Now look at this. Ow, oh, there's the deadly pepperoni pile driver knocking out Syndrome. Chucky e shows us the power of friendship. I mean, that's great and all, but this is the Royal Rumble. Woo! Ric Flair still in this match. Oh, there's Mr. Munch, though. I will, I'll admit, Ric Flair deserves this. Ah, oh, yeah, nice power ball. There's the goldfish now. Oh, the goldfish is swimming away. He knows. I'm still up to Mr. Munch. The power of friendship needs to help out. Jasper Jowls right now. Oh, and there's Chucky, though. Chucky slap. The numbers game. Team Chuck E. Cheese is running the Royal Rumble right now. And well, and Chucky, he will do anything it takes to win this Rumble match because he set out a goal to win the world title. Oh, he does still have that money in the bank, so he's got a great insurance. I mean, I will say, Chucky probably is the next world champion. I mean, here comes our next entrant after the emotional year. Who our team Chucky Cheese about to face off with right now? Wait! Oh, no! Could it be? We haven't seen him in a long time. He's been suspended. Both from his suspension, it's Karrion Cross, accompanied by Scarlett. Karen Cross last year was the reason that the original Chuck E. Cheese 
died in a fire. This fight better than Terry Cross could not be punished because technically Chuck E. Cheese was legally already dead but he was still alive. No, Chucky immediately going after Karrion Cross before he can reach the ring. I don't blame Chucky. Karrion Cross destroyed, murdered his best friend Chuck E. Cheese. I don't blame him one bit. Chucky's been waiting a long time to get his hands on Cross. Oh, there's a scratch though from those claws of Scarlet. Cross back up. Oh, close line right to Chucky. No, there's Mr. Munch and Jasper Jones. They're both evenly upset with Karrion Cross for what he did to Team Chuck E. Cheese last year. And there's the country man, the country hound dog, Jasper taking out Cross. Oh no, don't turn Minute. On the other side. Oh! Scarlet just interfered! Jasper was eliminated! Carrying Cross came with his own numbers games. Oh, that's hard hitting! Hard hitting is taking out Scarlet! Wait, and from behind, Mr. Munch was distracted. Carrying Cross now with a cross jacket, the deadly submission move. He's choking the knife out of Mr. Munch. Man, and that was the only way you're gonna take out Mr. Munch is by distraction. Oh man, that was good right there. Carrying Cross, though. The nearest any man, nobody could support what Cross did last year. He was the reason that Chuck E. Cheese burned alive. Yeah, man, but poor Team Chuck E. Cheese, they're getting destroyed. Jasper's already out. And it was Cross, Cross. Whoa! He did it! He eliminated Mr. Munch! Mr. Munch is out of here by Carrying Cross. Carrying Cross has already eliminated two members of Team Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. is angry, and oh no, both men! Top rope! Chucky just eliminated himself and Karen Cross. They're both eliminated. I don't think Chucky cares that Chucky's getting his revenge on Karen Cross. Send security guards, send referees, somebody please break this assault up. And Chucky has a lot of anger to give out on Karen Cross for what he did to their friends. But now, now they're gonna be separated. Both men are out of the Royal Rumble. Let's not forget we have a 30 man Rumble match going on. What an impactful night, fellas. We still got a handful of interest left. Who is the next entry into the SNF Wrestling Royal Rumble match? Oh, an entry at number 25 is Scooby Doo! Last year, Scooby Doo did not win a single match of the entire year. This man definitely fell off. Let's see if he can turn it around this year in the Royal Rumble. Scooby Doo Doo! Listen, Bones, it's me, Scooby Doo. I'm gonna beat you. Oh, no, and now Scooby Doo is going after Seth Rollins. Oh, you should not have messed with Seth. Yeah, definitely not the wisest thing to do to go after Seth Rollins first in the Rumble here. Oh, and there's a stomp right to Scooby. Is Scooby already out? It looks like it's already over for Scooby Doo. He's out. I mean, oh, oh, Sinjo versus Rick Flair in the set. Oh, Sinjo with the choke slam. Wait, Scooby never got eliminated. He's actually still in somehow. And now Seth Rollins is now being destroyed by Syndrome. Now, what is the evil Syndrome setting up for? Oh, man. Seth Rollins has a history of knee injuries. And now he is now bending at the knee of Seth Rollins. Oh, man, Seth Rollins is going to be screaming in pain. Be careful, Topo. This is a Royal Rumble. There's nothing to break this hole. And that history of knee injuries is not good. Oh, he put his knee against the rugs of Seth Rollins. Here comes our next injury. Number 26, man. This Rumble is almost over. But we still going. What? What? Oh, my God, fella. The Piper. Randy Orton. We have not seen him in years, guys. Years ago, he was the SMF Wrestling Blue Belt World Champion. He left this company, and now he's back. I did not expect that. Randy Orton the Viper returns to SMF Wrestling in 2024. Randy Orton is back. Oh, he takes out Scooby. And there goes the goldfish. Oh, here comes Central. Randy now. Oh, oh, a scoop slam. Randy Orton the Viper returns. Oh, wait a minute now. Here's Stretch Armstrong looking to end the return of Randy Orton. Oh, Randy though. Oh, Randy. Puts Stretch on top of the rope. Wait a minute. Stretch Armstrong. Nice move here. He's going to the top rope. He's going to end Randy Orton's return early. Stretch now in. Okay, oh, and Nowhere! Randy Orton the Viper has returned in, and oh, Randy eliminates Stratz Armstrong! I cannot believe it! In 2024, Randy Orton returns to SMF Wrestling! And Randy Orton right now is running in to an old friend of his. Woo! Randy Orton, it's good to see you again, pal! He's really good at selling Rufa. And RKO like a Ric Flair! The Viper strikes again! No, look at this face off here. Randy Orton and Seth Rollins. I think Seth's knee might really be injured. Syndrome definitely hurt him. Wait a minute, is Randy gonna look at Rollins' knee and RKO right to Seth Rollins! Viper is friends with nobody! This is why I love the Royal Rumble. Anything is possible. Now is Randy gonna eliminate Rick Flair and control Matt? I can't believe it! Randy is back and has a wrestling ring! Wait a minute, no fellas, here comes our next instant. We're almost done! Ladies and gentlemen! Oh, Raymond, well, he's not entrant number 27.
Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to both entrant number 27s, Evan Holmes Rowe Nelson. Wait a minute, what? Both entrants? Oh, wait a minute. So Paul Heyman just, just bribed his way to get Evan and Holmes and Jerome Nelson, the tag team champions. They are both coming out as one entrant? I don't know how that's fair, but Paul Heyman is smart with his business deals. Ow! That's another one of Paul Heyman's shady business moves. Paul Heyman is the manager of the world champion Hollywood firm and the bodyguards of firm. The current tag team champions, Evan Anholm and Jarrell Nelson, are taking out Randy Orton two on one. Hurry, hurry, get the next entrant, hurry! Thank you. Paul Heyman's now calling for the timer. Man, oh, Paul Heyman has just, has just cheated the system somehow. He negotiated his way. He's getting all of his men at the same time. Oh man, there's nothing right about this. Ancient number 28 is another one of Ferb's bodyguards and Paul Heyman's men. It's Whitey. It was not fair at all, but Paul Heyman, he has managed to cheat the system. That is right. I mean, that is the genius of Paul Heyman. That's why Ferb pays him the big bucks to be his agent. This Finn the Goldfish is trying to be the hero right now. Oh, but Evan had helmet to round us and quickly put it in to Finn the Goldfish. And uh oh, oh no, there goes Finn. You've got to be kidding me. Paul Heyman is now taking advantage of the numbers games to get everybody out of this match. Don't tell me. Bring him out. He's ready. Wait a minute. No, Paul Heyman once again is calling for the next entrant, number 29. I want to guess. That's probably going to be Omos. Yeah, that's right. That's the last number of Ferb's bodyguard team. Who's number 29? I think we all know who it is. <laughs> of all time, the greatest of all time in SMF Wrestling, Hollywood Ferb is number 29. Guys, don't tell me Paul Heyman's gonna do it two years in a row. Is Paul Heyman gonna get Ferb to win the Royal Rumble like he did last year? Ferb, go ahead, go in the ring, they're all yours. Paul, Paul Heyman, I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna be a bad guy. I want my losers back. I don't wanna be under your control anymore. Ferb, Ferb, what are you saying? Where, where's Vanessa? I don't care about Vanessa. I don't want the championship. Take the belt. I don't want it. Uh, uh, v v Vanessa, get away from me. You're not my real girlfriend. You're not my real love. Uh, okay, you want me to be Hollywood Ferb? I'll be Hollywood Ferb. It's me, Hollywood Ferb. I'm the man. Since the beginning of this company, Ferb has been the face of this company. He has been the man of the people. Everybody loves Ferb. Until last year, Ferb signed a contract with Paul Heyman. And now Ferb has been evil. He's been turning his back on all of his fans. And old Ric Flair is eliminated at the hands of Hollywood Ferb. Guys, I can tell that Ferb doesn't want to be evil. He wants to be a good guy again. But Paul Heyman has him under contract. Ferb cannot do anything about it. That's right. And Paul Heyman keeps bribing Ferb with the championships, the money, and the girlfriend Vanessa. And now Syndrome is out. What am I doing? You guys aren't my friends. Let me out of here, Paul Heyman. <laughs> Okay, you want me to be high left head? I'll be high left head. Who wants to be my man? I'm gonna, uh, blah, 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 blah. Seth Rollins, give me Rollins. And there is nothing right about this. Seth Rollins is already injured right now from this brutal Royal Rumble match. He's definitely been in here the longest out of anybody. Now Seth Rollins is right in position right now. Ferb has him. You don't tell me Seth Rollins out here for the first match. Oh, oh, the injured leg. Seth Rollins hits a super kick. And immediately Rollins is gonna regret that right now. I can't believe the adrenaline. Rollins, the strength and endurance of Rollins still able to hit that move he's injured. And the bodyguards once again have, has weakened Seth Rollins right for Ferb. Wait a minute, what am I doing? This is evil. Guys, stop cheating. Well, once again, oh, there's Vanessa once again. Yes, every time Ferb kisses Vanessa, he goes back to Hollywood mode. He's blinded by the fame and the love. Get back, Rollins. You're here, my Hollywood. Oh, first man. From behind. Oh, I can't. Oh, Hollywood. And the bodyguards right now are taken out for Randy Orton for destroying Hollywood Firm. Wait, Scooby Doo's doing this match. Scooby Doo with the Scooby Splash! Oh man, Scooby Doo, you should have just stayed in the corner. Now the bodyguards are after you. <sighs> you guys, please. I'm sorry. Uh, don't hurt me. Um, I'll join you. I'll join you. Uh, Firm, uh, get up. Wait a minute, what is this now? Scooby is not trying to join Hollywood Firm's team? Oh, but the bodyguards ain't having it though. They just took out Scooby Doo. Wait a minute. Here comes the next entrance. Wait, so if Firm's out here now, then. then Who's, who's number 30? Wait a minute. I know that music. Paul Heyman did it again. Number 30 is Omos. Are you kidding me? 
As Omos is part of Hollywood first team. He's a Paul Heyman guy. This is it. This is just as good as over first winning back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles. Man, this is terrible. This is not fair whatsoever. Well, guys, it's Paul Heyman's world, and we're just living in it. Paul Heyman has negotiated with all of his clients at the end of the Royal Rumble. Oh, this multiple splash is right to Scooby. And Ferb pays Paul Heyman to make him the spotlight. And right now, the bodyguards are setting up Ferb to win right now. Oh, there's a first match right to Scooby-Doo. And Scooby is eliminated by Ferb. Oh, Moss is going to pick up Randy Orton now. There's no way two years in a row. Paul Heyman is going to let Ferb win the Rumble. Randy Orton now in position for the Ferb smash. Guys, why are we doing this? I'm a good guy, not a bad guy. Hey, Ferb. Hey, is that Vanessa? Poor Ferb, he has been brainwashed by Paul Heyman. Ah, oh, there's the first match right to the Viper. Randy's helpless. Oh, there is somehow rolls. Let's all rope. Oh, taking out the bodyguards. He's injured. Oh, an injured Seth Rollins somehow is fighting Hollywood Ferb. Guys, I think Rollins' his knee is split, but he's still standing up. The visionary wants to win the rumble right now. He wants to show us Hollywood Ferb. Is he going to eliminate him? I don't know. That's not going to happen here. Right? Oh, no. There's a face plant by Omos. Wait, there's Paul Heyman right now giving a steel chair to Omos. And no disqualification. And Heyman knows that. He's definitely taking advantage of this right now. Heyman knows he's putting Rollins' his knee under the chair. All right, Buzz. I'm going to injure Rollins. What if you injure Rollins? Hey, Rollins. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, man. That's the injured league of Seth Rollins. Hollywood Ferb is demolishing him. Numbers game can't catch up with Seth Rollins here. Oh, a Ferb smash onto the solid steel chair now. Seth Rollins has been eliminated by Hollywood Ferb. I'm a Hollywood Ferb. I'm a champion. I'm the main event. I'm going to win the Rumble again. But as I don't think you realize, Randy Orton is alone. Here comes Omos. Oh! Randy Orton moved out of the way! And oh, RKO runs into the end Because Randy, short tackle though! And oh, scoop slam! Randy takes out everybody! Um, what the heck? Randy, get back here! And oh, oh! The Ferb is going to eliminate Randy Orton! Get the fight, hang on! Oh, he pushes Ferb! Can Randy Orton pull this off? Wait a minute now, Paul Heyman is distracting Randy Orton right now! From behind! Oh, off the distraction! Randy Orton's back! Previously injured back. He has back issues and now Ferb is destroying Orton with the solid steel chair. Yeah, in case you fellas haven't realized, Randy Orton had to leave SNF Wrestling due to back injury year ago. Oh, no, wait a minute. Years ago, and Randy Orton's comeback might be ruined. Ah ha! There's the solid steel slam onto the chair. Randy, shave me. Paul Heyman's controlling me. Well, why is Vanessa getting in the ring? Vanessa's not supposed to be in this match. All right, boys. Are you boys ready to see? Hello, Ferb. Win the Rumble two years in a row. Oh, oh, I'm going. I'm going. Hello, Ferb. It's he. Randy Orton, goodbye, fool. Hollywood Ferb now with the Ferb smash right to the Viper. And now Ferb just ruined Randy Orton's return. Randy is out of this match. And now it is Ferb with the last four entrants. All of Hollywood Ferb's bodyguards. And is this going to be a repeat of last year? I definitely think it is. I definitely think that Omos and the bodyguards are going to eliminate themselves to let Hollywood Ferb win. And Paul Heyman did it again. This is not fair, fellas. Man, this is, this is horrible. Oh, the bodyguards, and they're getting on the outside of the ring. They're about to sacrifice themselves to let Ferb win. Guys, so many people, not a many. One more entry. Oh. Wait a minute, guys. Guys, I'm getting breaking news. Uh, 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 somebody just, just paid $24 million to get a late entry into the Royal Rumble, but there's only 30 men. Wait a minute, this... This 30-man rumble has become a 31-man rumble because somebody paid $24 million. Well, who's entrant number 31? What? Huh? Guys, what's going on? Oh, it's The Rock! The Green One! The People's Champion, The Rock! What is he doing here? I was told by Kurt Angle that The Rock just arrived 10 minutes ago. He gave Kurt Angle and Stephanie $24 million to have a late entry into this year's Royal Rumble. And if anybody can afford that, it's The Rock. The Rock bought his way into the Rumble. What's he doing here? We're going to entry number 31. The Rock is going to take out everybody. Well, I guess you can just buy Rumble entrance now. Oh, no. And there's a monster looking in. The Rock's come back. What? The most electrifying man is back. And that's not wrestling. And I take it out. The giant Omos here. Oh! He took out the knees and dropped the giant. Wait a minute. What is the Rock standing up for? He's not wasting any time here. Oh, the people's elbow went right to Omos. The Rock now wasting no time here. Oh! The Rock has eliminated Omos from this match. Paul Heyman 
cannot believe that somebody has outsmarted him. The Rock, last second, bought his way into the Royal Rumble. Oh my gosh, look at this face off here. We want to talk about Hollywood Ferb. Let's talk about Mr. Hollywood himself. Does The Rock want Hollywood Ferb? There's no way. He's going to go for The Rock bottom. But no, I didn't think so. The Rock bottom is now fumbled by all of Ferb's bodyguards. I don't care how electrifying you are. You are not going to get rid of a four on one assault. And then a Whitey now. Whitey now setting up Ferb right now. Oh, there's the Ferb smash right to the great one. Is Ferb going to eliminate The Rock? No, no, Tommy. Oh, no, it's over. It's over. The Rock has been eliminated. Wait, no, he hasn't. Oh, my gosh. The Rock is standing on Paul Heyman. He jumps to the steel. The great one in the right place at the right time. Oh no, rock bottom there. Right to Jarrell Nelson. Rock throws him out. Here comes Evan Anderholm. Oh my gosh, the rock throws him over the top rope. And Whitey's going to ruin the fun. Wait a minute, no. Oh, the spine buster in the air by the Brahma Bull. The rock. Now look at this. Oh, the rock bottom. The white is eliminated. Huh. Are we seeing this? Hollywood Ferb is alone. His bodyguards are gone. Ah, oh, no, 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 the rock now. Oh, the rock bottom right to Hollywood Ferb. Is this it? He's done it. The rock has done it. He's going to WrestleMania. Who is the winner of the 2024 Royal Rumble? The rock. Yeah, this, this doesn't even feel real. First off, this is a 31-man Royal Rumble with the rock being a late entry. He paid $24 million to be in this match. And I guess money talks with Kurt Angle and Stephanie McMahon. They let it slide. The Rock just came in and ruined Paul Heyman's plan. Uh, Paul Heyman definitely wanted Ferb to win this Rumble. And The Rock just ruined everything. And it looks like The Rock is main eventing SNF WrestleMania this year. The great one is back. This is a dream, right? No, it's not, fellas. The Rock. It's going to WrestleMania. We thank you fellas for watching the Royal Rumble.